Alrighty, let's watch this in full here. There's no sound, but it's cool to see animation here with a match move. I think looking at the feet, it needs a bit more work. There's some moments where it's sliding a little bit, the feet on the ground, but that's something you need to check in your scene. Yeah, I'm seeing some, not always, but there are some moments where there's some slippage there, but I think the general thing is you have to be careful where now we are in a real world and with a mechanical, you know, real rendered creature so that the weight and everything has to be really spot on in terms of when you look at this here, like those moments here when it drops, it feels a bit slow and even the first thing I would look at and any type of quick pops so right there in this area you can see this how it moves this way and bam stops over one frame pow, pow, and then goes straight down and then stops again that over the short amount of time it gives it a very harsh hiccupy feel also watch out it feels like he, this looks a bit too far left compared to this position there same thing here just those moves are just a bit too fast given the weight and the and the theoretically uh, realistic mechanics of a creature like that that's kind of like a robotic thing same thing here it's just a lot of very quick pops here you can see this here it just pops over it's like one frame ish maybe two here and then suddenly down even now this one just feels a bit too fast, that drop. Just for a couple of frames, but just a bit. This one has the thing of, if you look at the spacing here. Bam. That's your one frame direction change, like it, like it hits a wall. But you have to imagine if this is a you know, Boston Dynamics style robot. And you got pistons here and things that fires up, that stretches, which is nice. You got a nice full extension here. But at this point, the moment's in the air, this is going up. This just went up. It's 100% physics. There's nothing else you can do because this is this is all real. I right? was in a real environment. So now as it goes up, it has to have one and then a drop. And this path like this, if you look at it, it goes straight up and suddenly forward and hitting this wall bah, bah, that all that just kills the realism same thing here you got a little bit of a hiccupy thing same thing here you stop bah, hitting that wall same thing right at the end this one as it goes this way it suddenly changes direction to go this way so if the initial again firing of whatever mechanical things you have here it will continue to go there the only way to make it somewhat stop are these back legs to then move it forward but then it would have a bit of a path like this it can go but it has to continue to the left there's not enough the foot needs to be much more like to its left here to push the other way to change direction like that it can go forward because these can push the creature forward but there will still be in enough of a, a momentum to the left until that finishes to go like that and behavior wise i think what you can do is just have some twitches back as it kind of wants to retreat with a little bit of a potential head flick like i understand why i think because he does this you want that quick move here because it's it's being startled just just watch out for the spacing that it feels still realistic I think that instinct is good. And I like that. I like that when he goes down, it follows. But then by the time he's here, I think I would have a stronger head turn to follow. This, I'd be careful because now he's taking steps towards the thing. So if it's taking a, st a step towards that as well, I think it might be either a bigger attack or you take a step back to be careful. Yeah, to me, it feels like when 
this goes forward. Either it's it's a rare immediate attack or a, a stronger go back. Chest goes down, head goes back a bit. This just felt weird in terms of he's the aggressor at this point and again, and it's taking a casual step towards it. It's either to me, it goes further back to be careful or lunges forward to attack. And maybe that could be the way for you to end where maybe it lunges. I don't know if it has a hinge for a jaw or something, but since he jumps away, I mean, you could have the creature almost here where it, it jumped. He's not looking, which is a bummer, but this could almost be a thing of now he jumps to the side because it attacked. Anyway, that's kind of that. I don't know the rig. Um, it's a cool looking rig. So I don't know if you have anything in the jaw. And to me, that's the biggest thing here. Looking at like what the tail is doing, it also feels sometimes stiff and too fast how it moves. But I would concentrate on this first as any type of movement here is going to change the tail. I usually do tails kind of at the very end. So I would um, start with that. And I'm curious if this is a rig that is publicly available to buy or, uh, or free. I don't know. If you could let me know, that'd be kind of cool. I'd love to add that to my uh, animation view for site. But I'll leave it at that, and that's it. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you. Cool.